and she invited us to her home and taught us how to make these tamales. And you go to the market and they have like all different kinds of masas that you can buy prepared already. But masa is just really simple. You can just mix it with water or milk to create your own masa from a corn flour. Not a corn starch, because in some countries, corn starch is called corn flour. Yes? I can't see what it says on it. Does it say? It says masa para tamales. And it, at the top, it says Rancho Market. So I'm just wondering how you know it's prepared masa versus, is there another type of masa? Uh, well, not prepared would be, dry. you would dry and you would buy it like a bag of flour and then you would add water or milk. So, and also if you want to make um, your own fresh corn tortillas at home, it's just corn, it's just corn flour, like masa harina, so corn flour and water, that's it. And you just get it to a texture that you can smash flat and then you heat it on a pan. That's all corn tortillas are, so. I love corn. Are there any other questions? Well, do we have scissors nearby? Oh, sorry. I already have it weighed out, so I don't need to open this. If we're not buying that exactly and we make it from the flour, do, you, do we add, like, are there instructions like that? There are. There, or yeah, there should be. It, yeah. And on this one, this would, I'm assuming, is just water. It doesn't even say, but if I were making it by hand, I would do it with milk. So just for that extra desserty flavor. Okay, so I'm gonna add my masa to my whipped butter. And then if I run low on time, give me the cue and I'll speed it up. And then I'm gonna add my sugar. So this is a granulated sugar. I always use raw, but there's no right or wrong. You could just, you would just use a white granulated sugar. I just like the raw granulated. And then I get that mixed up. And then these two get integrated together. And then we start spreading on our husks. And normally, I do this by hand, so this is the first time I've done it. You have like an hour. You're good. Oh, okay. no worries. <laughs> I have an hour. Yeah. I don't need an hour. You but know. Take the time you need. Then I'm going to add this together. And I would say, in reality, we could, if we wanted to, I bet we could just put every single ingredient in, the mix, in a mixer and just mix it. And it'd probably be just fine. So, all right, I got little rags here. And then I'm gonna just continue to integrate this. I do segments now and again on KSL TV, Studio 5, and they give you five minutes to do your whole recipe. So, I've kind of gotten used to the fast. And that's just very recent. I'm officially an empty nester. And when my youngest left the home, I found that I was just being this super duper workaholic at Ruby Snap. And so I was like, I need a hobby to get me away from work so that I just don't work until 10 p.m. every night. So I started an Instagram page called Bite Me Industries, which is kind of an ode back to the day a long, 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 long time ago. In 2010, we were sued by Pillsbury for our trademark. And we didn't fight, we just got a new name and because I just wanted to be a baker, I didn't want to like fight about it. So we gave him <laughs> our name and um, I jokingly wanted to rename the bakery Bite Me, <laughs> just because I was so mad at Pillsbury. So, um, so this is just kind of my like inside joke to myself, like, like I'm moving on, doing nice things. What was it? 
the oh it was called Doe Girl so it's a World War II theme and uh, it was called Doe Girl because in World War I the, the male flyers were called Doe Boys and in World War II the female flyers were nicknamed Doe Girls and that was my kind of love of yesteryear and my love of food keeping things like handmade like our, our grandmothers did it so, so this is just my. Um, thank you. We keep them fresh. We make them fresh daily. Yeah, this this month we added a third. They're also special. way more interesting. <laughs> yeah, we try to keep them unique. And this chocolate today is a sixty-four uh, percent Calibo Calais. And this is the chocolate that we use in Viviana, is the mango and dark chocolate cookie. Okay, so we've got all of those ingredients. We have our husks prepared. And what we would do is we would have about this much water. The basket here comes all the way down to here. And then we'd have a, just about this much water boiling in the bottom because once we fill our husks, we're gonna put them in a steam pot and steam them for 30 to 40 minutes. And at the end of this, you'll get to try those. Because they're all ready. Well, how many can you get in a pot that size? <clears throat> well, they're kind of small. They're a little bit small. I have 30 in there, it's a little bit tight. And I made them just a little bit smaller so that we could all try it. I think a few people signed up later, so we'll, we'll just kind of split some of them. Oh, guess what? I forgot salt. <laughs> so, put <laughs> salt in there. But salt's important because it helps, it's like salt of the earth, it just makes everything better, like it helps elevate and enhance the flavor, just like lemon juice can or you know sugars do so don't forget your salt they'll still be good this is the, I brought some prepared masa too so could you see the texture here it's uh, just kind of like an extra thick cake batter all right then I brought these little scrapers um, because I normally you kind of spread it out with a spoon, but I'm going to use this because it does get a little bit messy. Is there a bun pan that I can just kind of set these completed tamales on? So, Tony, do you prefer um, having it like at room temperature like that or the other one that looks like it's a little more solidified? Um, this is still about the same texture. So I only made it like maybe an hour and a half ago. So, cause I made those right before class. Um, I, I'm probably gonna, I think I actually like this texture a little bit more. So, okay, can you see here okay? I love these cameras. Okay. These are the husks that are pre-soaked. When they come, before they're soaked, they're just a little crusty. And one thing I've done here is I've torn strips from these husks. So I just tore strips like this. And these will tie the tamales closed. Just like that. That's just kind of clever. Okay. So I'm looking for that, and then I'll take about this much of the masa and spread it out. So I learned this trick actually here where I kind of can like spread it a little bit easier with this but there's no right or wrong you could just lay it on and spread it out and then about 28 grams of chocolate which is about that much 
and I actually weighed it out. It's literally that much. And then what you do, and hopefully you can see this, is I flip it and I kind of like pat it and I let it, and I pull away so it kind of folded over like an envelope. And then I fold it over and roll. And then I flip the top down and I grab one of my strips and I tie it off. And you just do that over and over and over again until they're all done. And then they go in this pot to get steamed. And I'll show you what this looks like. And then you probably get the boats and start passing around. But can you see that? So they're all set in there. And then they steamed for about 30 to 40 minutes. I find that 40 minutes is a little bit better because I like a certain texture. So this little tie just slides right off and then it, it opens up and they're actually a little bit wet just because I left them in here, but you'll get the idea. And then I, you can drizzle a little bit of chocolate on it, a little bit of cream. You could do some queso fresco on it, cheese, and then it's just kind of like a pudding. And, and the texture a little bit of pie, but you get the chocolate in it. And it's just gentle and simple. It's not over sweet, it's mildly sweet, which is, which is what I like. I find that desserts generally for me are just a little bit too sweet. So I kind of cut the sugar back and everything because I want to taste that bouquet of everything else that's going on in that dish. So you're free to take those. And if you want to just take it out of the pot so it can get a little air yep. so that they'll kind of firm up a little bit. Um, yes. And then... How often do you check the water and how do you do that with that freezer? Like, do you ever have to refill the water in the bottom? Uh, well, it separates, so you can just lift it up and look. Okay. And I find that it doesn't really... Because I don't... Sorry, I have a hair or something. I don't have it on a rapid boil, I have it on low, like medium low. And, and maybe that's why it takes the full 40 minutes. You could probably have the heat up a little higher and do 30, but I would just be sure to let it kind of air out a little, you know, get, let it rest for 10 minutes before you serve it. Yes? What if you don't have a steamer pot, because I've taken these, I know you can do it in an instant pot. I, I think an instant pot would be great. I, someone told me you can pack it in with um, towels if you don't have the linen to steam. Oh, yeah. Do you know any, because not, I don't have a steam pot. Home. You know, I have a steam pot, so I've never had to modify, but I would think even if you, I bet if you put it in your oven with a water dish and let that be your steamed environment, because the door would be like the lid, because it's still being encapsulated. That's probably what I personally would do. But if you have an Instant Pot, by all means, I would do that, and you probably could get it done in 12 minutes. So <laughs> I've never used an Instant Pot, so I, my, my kitchen's very tiny. It's about as big as this counter <laughs> from here over. So any other questions? Tammy, would you mind um, filling one more? Yeah, so I'll, I'll keep filling them. Okay. Yeah. And you had a question? Do you have any other suggestions of fillers besides pumpkin to use in this mixture? Oh, besides pumpkin? chicken <laughs> Like savory or sweet? Either one. I would do sweet potato. Um, I've done, I like to do is like sweet potato breads. And then, sorry, a little nervous. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. But not kidding. How much filling did you say you're using for? It's a half a cup. And scientifically, that's probably a little more. And how much chocolate? So, so I do that like little pat, 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 and then pull away so it's like an envelope. It's 28 grams of chocolate, which is about a tablespoon. But, you know, chocolate is everybody's friend, so put in what you want. <laughs> And then you just give it a little tie. I did overfill this one just a little bit. So 
Um, I'm going to give it a little tie a little higher, but you can, can you see how I'm tying it on the camera? So just giving it a little tie and I'm doing a double tie on this one because when I folded over that top, it, I had overfilled it a little bit. So I'm going to show you here again. I'll just keep doing it for a couple more so you can see. I'm so, assuming this is the same technique for just like a regular saver, not the pumpkin. Exactly the same, except for <clears throat> your masa wouldn't have anything in it. And then what you would do is you would create whatever meat you had. So if you like slow roasted a chuck roast, and then you create a sauce, you would shred it, create a sauce, toss it in that sauce, and then fill the center with a little bit of that meat. Um, I always like just a little bit more meat and um, so folding it over, give it, I like to give it a little pat and then pull away and I feel like that little tip is probably the most important tip and then I fold it over and these are kind of small but neat too. Um, I just like them a little bit smaller. I had a dessert one with it had a cream cheese flavor. What would have been in the cream cheese? Uh, what do you mean? Like, well, was it, it was a like pumpkin a cream cheese? One. Was it a tamale? Mm -hmm. What would have been in the cream cheese? Yeah, would have. I don't know. I, you know, I feel you could have egg in it. You could have any kind of spice in cream cheese. Like, I don't know. For fun, I would probably just zest it with lemon. Mm -hmm. You know, and vanilla, and okay, sorry, I'm a little meat. Okay, so these, I have seen it where they do sell a, it's, it's a masa spreader, it's about this wide, it has edges, and you just literally scoop and go like this, and they just toss, toss, toss them on each other like that, and then they fill them later, but I like to fill them as I go because I don't make tamales all day, every day. And then, so, can you see that little idea right there? Oh. If you freeze these, would you freeze them before you steam them or after? And then they just microwave them? That's the if, you fro if you made them ahead, would you want to freeze them and have them ahead in your freezer? Well, I, I probably would just thaw them at room temperature and then do the regular uh, steaming time. So I think thawing at room temperature is generally a good idea for most anything that's frozen. Okay, so I'm gonna go like that, pat, 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 pull away, and then do that. And you notice the ends are open. That's normal, that the ends are open. If it's, if it's spilling out, you could tamp it down a little bit. Um, but the, traditionally the ends remain open. Any other questions? Anybody want to taste it? They're coming. Um, so queso fresco, you can crumble it up and put that on top. You could drizzle a chocolate syrup just by combining a little bit of cream and chocolate. You would get, whenever you're melting chocolate, you just keep it body temperature like you, if you're melting it, you want to make sure it kind of just feels about what the inside of your wrist feels like. But you could create a drizzled chocolate with chocolate and cream. Another great thing is just like a little bit of that Simply Five Hershey syrup. You could just drizzle a little bit of that. Drizzle cream. I like the cream on it. Um, okay, what other questions do you have? I'm proud of myself because I thought... <laughs> I thought that I wasn't going to have very much time because I was allotted 30 minutes. So I was like, I'm going to jam through this. I'll be good. So what other questions do you have? Yes. Um, I've never made tomorrow, so okay. I'm surprised that the corn is, is not square. Is that normal? Yeah, because the, the corn grows like that. And when it grows, it goes like that. So it's kind of a, a diamond, like a, and when you husk a corn, it's, it's not just one solid piece. 
you're kind of, it's like leaves almost wrapped around it. So remember that tap, tap, and then the pull away. Um, and then if your chocolate isn't enrobed, it will stick to that piece of chocolate. And remember you want your, your masa to enrobe your chocolate to protect it. So, yes. Um, so if we were going to make just regular tamales, mm -hmm. like, I love these, these are amazing. Yeah. But if I was gonna use this recipe for normal ones, did, did you compensate for the pumpkin puree, like the moisture content in it at all with the um, masa, or are you just using straight masa? On, on a savory one? Mm -hmm. You would just use straight masa, but I've never tried this and I'd like to try it is just adding spices to the masa just for the fun of it, you know, like yeah. like maybe some cumin yeah. and not to overtake what's going on inside though. Yeah. So, and on, when you do kind of the more traditional savory ones, they, you do spread, and I'll show you with this, on the more traditional ones, you actually spread completely side to side it's a little bit hard with this, but you you go the full distance on a traditional one, all the way side to side, and on a tradi on a traditional savory one. If you noticed, if you've ever opened like purchased tamales, and you've ever opened one, they actually they just keep rolling. They don't do that tap and pull away. They just keep rolling. And um, so when you open it, you get like a piece of the, the masa, tears off kind of first. And so they just, they go completely side to side. And I think that probably helps like keep the meat wrapped in a little better. All right. What do you think? It's just a little bit different, huh? And it, this is a 64% chocolate. Um, but that you could go more of a medium, like a 54% chocolate, if you want it just a little more milky and not so dark. I have a tendency to just like dark chocolate. And that is how simple it is, but see how this one's kind of bursting out? You could take a spoon, which I didn't bring one, but I've got this, and you could just like, tamp it down a little bit so and then as soon as you get them all made these make way more than I wrote down on the recipe and I think it's just because these husks are a little bit smaller but one thing you can do is you could double up your husk like that to make it wider so I have two pieces and just double it up and make it a little wider if you wanted your tamales a little thicker and heavier and that's just kind of nice I, I always do these little ones yeah so and then tap 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 and then you just go ahead and do your little roll and then sometimes you'll have those two seams so I fold it towards the seam side Okay. Yes, ma'am. Um, I would think three to five days. So, I mean, it's still, uh, once you start adding your enzymes from your pumpkin, you're activating like bacteria growth. So I wouldn't go probably past five days in the refrigerator. And then again in the freezer, I would just thaw it at room temperature and then put it in your steamer and begin. Because that's a great idea. You could just have a tamale making party with your family and just stock up your freezer. So I, I'm a freezer queen because I've always been a professional working mom. So I do that a lot. So you would freeze them before you cook them? I would, yes. So. But I've seen it, uh, you can buy tamales at Costco yeah. and they're already cooked. Right. So either way, both would. But I like the like the freshness of it just coming out of the skin.
Anything else? Delicious. Do you feel like you're empowered to go home and make it yourself? Is it something you would try? I kind of like to just introduce things that are different and little, sometimes a little less popular. <laughs> But that's okay. I have a, a palette that likes to try different things. So, okay. Thank you. If you learn things in the future, what would you want to learn? Savory. Savory stuff? I, let's see, I'm trying to think what I taught here last. Oh, wild rice chicken soup. So, and you can find any savory thing that I do on Bite Me Industries on Instagram, and I'm working on getting a website. I would love one of your salad boxes. Oh, oh. I think oh. your salad looks so good. Okay, well, yeah. Where do you buy your yellow box box? At Harmon's. Okay. But it, I swear it goes really fast. It does. I can never find yeah. it, but I like, like I'm dying for it after seeing your Instagram. But you could do acorn squash. So. Would you need the rind of the acorn squash? I think you can, oh, okay. yeah. So. Uh, I'm doing uh, side dishes, Thanksgiving side dishes. I'm doing like a fresh uh, bacon parmesan green beans from fresh green beans. And I'm doing a sweet potato souffle. And I haven't decided what the third thing is yet, but maybe an acorn squash that's like a herby parmesan. So, but if you want to come to that class, I'm doing that class. Coming up, the sweet potato souffle is my favorite. It's also my it's the white Jersey yam, not the orange yam, because I do not, I don't love the orange yam. I I've never ever liked growing up the orange yam like casserole recipe that everybody makes. So I do a, a lightened version that is has pecans on top, less sugar of the white Jersey yam. So and in the souffle. So. <laughs> All right. Any other questions? I'll tell Heather, request for salads and random. So you say the masa is basically just one flour. So if I have, if I just mail my own, like, hot pumpkin kind of crust, I have to do that. Oh, and just throw a meal. I don't think you can use popcorn. It's almost like corn sugar. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. And the corn they use is real big. It almost looks like hominy. So, it's a different kind of corn. So, okay. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. But I really don't like pumpkin pie, and so I do not like pumpkin pie. This is amazing. Um, okay, and these are actually yours. Oh, all right. Do you want me to I just clean them and bring them back? I just to bring everything back okay. in case it belongs okay. to people. Okay, and <laughs> let's see. I think these are yours. So, okay, thank but you. But I've been waiting for this since you said you were doing this. Oh, cool. And, um, so you totally lived up to expectations. This Yay. is going to be like a regular rotation at my house. I cool. So thank you so yeah. much. Some of them, if they didn't set because they were still sitting in the seam, might have been a little more pudding-like, but they should be just slightly permanent. They're so good, though. So. Amazing. The texture and the flavor, like, it's just so good. And not oversweet. 
Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes it's just so sweet that you feel sick after you eat yeah. it. That's why you feel sick. Like you're tasting yeah. flavor. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. You just got the check. I'm your Pavlova buddy. <gasps> Yay. Thank you. you know, oh, gosh. that was so good. You were so kind to like, and I can't. I'm like, no, gosh, I don't know what to do next. They did change it. And you and I were just like texting back and forth. I'm like, it's nice to meet you in person. But I'm like, seriously, who does that? You are, you guys saved me. I, like, well, I've been doing the Ruby Snap social media for 14 and a half years. Yeah. And I answer every person. And just, because I'm like, I, I don't want to feel like I'm doing it right. I don't want to, I do not want to spend that time and energy and have something not work. And I was like, when you said five cups of sugar, I was like, I don't know. And I went and looked, and it sure did. Because it was, I think I, in my original recipe, I might have had 1.5. And, and they dropped the one at a point. Which is not, I don't normally write recipes like that. Yeah. So I was like, well, and the funny thing is, I should have known that I've never done. I did it here also. I just had a couple of a class here too. Oh, okay. So okay. did it work though? Oh, you said okay. Yes. Well, I yeah. Well, I, yeah. yeah. Dumped that. Started started over. Over. Thank you. Yeah. So I definitely started. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I love those better. Yeah. And did you, so on the individuals, you know, I stick it in a giant zip Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I cut it over and I just wipe it on. Yeah. Yes. And then I get like this crater where I can like put yeah. yeah. cream and no, no. Um, no. these yes. ones. And then berries. It was uh, 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 a fun curve. I think we should be able to have some kind of ceremony. I love passion fruit. Oh my gosh. I, 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 but but I got all the recipes. Debbie knew there was going to be fruit. Uh huh. So I was so, so excited. Once we get. Did you see like there's like, like, like a pure Oh, uh, like like the well, they're frozen. Where's the cat from? They're in there. Okay. It's just I'm telling you. It's in that I I'm out of there. Um, so I go to the Asian Street to get the fresh passion fruit. Oh, not always it's all and it's all and passion is. fruit has a long season. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, you did. That's so pretty. Yeah. So I was so pleased with how they turned out. And did they, were they kind of like, Crusty and then chewy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. The first one's not so much. Um, I know. I was petrified. I was like, oh no. Because you were trying to make a donut for your guests. Yeah. And they did it the night before. Oh yeah. Here's the. Yeah. Here's the thing like summer. Yeah. Yeah. They did fix it because I'm like, I don't want this. Yes, I did. But yeah, I did my little templates. Cool. And, here's the and they spread a lot. Yeah. Yes. I was yeah. Oh, so you're going to have pumpkin tamales coming out your ears. Yeah. Just little fingers. Yeah. And probably. Yeah. And so they're just like pure. Yeah. Yeah. They're just squishy. Yeah. You don't know really if you really want to wipe it. I'm so bad. Oh, I hope not. But I took yeah. pictures of it first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I probably should take pictures of it. Oh, you are dead. I can get a meal. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably really strong. Yes, they are. Oh, this is yeah. really, I'm going to take a picture of yeah. yeah. They sell it here. But, yeah. I think they sell it year round. But obviously, like right now. Uh, uh, the thing we do is that we always yeah. They also sell it. Yeah. And I thought, uh, I'm going to do this at least the day ahead. I want to see your little packet of the matzo so I know what it looks like. That's what I should uh-huh. do. I was totally doing mine before. But anyway, so it was so fun. Yeah. To, but you always so try new things out and they just love it. Sure so. so. No. Well, I'm you fine. look like, super beautiful. I'm, I'm so glad to meet you in person. Oh, you too. No, I just... Anyway, anyway.
So, uh, yeah, these are some of my designer friends. Oh, yeah, we are. Right. That's true. They're super good, though, Tammy, and you're going to have pumpkin oh tamales gosh. coming out of your ears. I know. With all that much masa. But I have, um, so our in a dough production kitchen. Uh huh. Six Spanish speaking. Oh, they'll take it. Um, dough makers, and, so and they were like, "You go to bring them tamales." And I'm like, oh, "I'll bring them. I'll bring you tamales." So oh, I, love it. I think I think it's so funny. It's, quite it's, quite a it's not over sugar. Yeah, yeah. That's it. I don't like over sugar. Yeah. So that is fun. But I always tell everybody if they talk about like chip or they do. They have like three times the amount of sugar. So I would guess. Yeah. Because yeah. that's all you can taste with the sweet cheese. Uh, yeah. all you yeah. So I get why people are like, oh, that's so good. Sugar, like, like, like that. sweet yeah. isn't like a culinary category. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like or like, yeah. Oh, I want fire. Yeah. I just found this in the demo kitchen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, it was so to meet you. Nice to meet you. And thank you for like hanging with yeah. me. Yeah, we're like DM buddies. Oh, that's funny. So we got to meet each other. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad. Fun. Now we know. Of course. Yeah. Cool. And I've made all of your recipes. I've changed my niece. And just lean them over here. And then, yeah. 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 I just, yeah. Yeah. I just yeah. I'm addicted to you. I think this was the last one. I think it was the last one. Just good. I keep getting yeah. 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 I will see. I will see you on a DM message in the near future. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Hey, good to see you. I just have those two boxes. Okay. That, I was like, um, I don't know what's yours and what's. Um, I brought all my own stuff. Okay. You like so, just loaded in the boxes? So yeah, because out. my first piece, like, I did, I went back with nothing, oh, and yeah, we maybe. couldn't find it because all my stuff had gotten integrated. So. You're like, I'm, I'm just like, going to make sure I bring everything. I'll bring it all. And yeah. Perfect. Then you don't have to worry about it. Yep. Well, we'll Excellent. let you do your thing. We'll go. But well, can we do your dishes for you? I can do them at home. That's my shirt. Yeah. Like, we're happy to do uh, that. You know, I do dishes all day, yeah. every day. <laughs> yeah, you know and how it goes. I, I literally, you know, nobody ever, these are yours, though. Okay. So I can, I can put them in a deli. Are they just heavy cream? Yeah, they cool. can just go back in here. Okay. Yeah, like you just dump them back. Yeah. I'm the one using anyway. it. They were delicious. Thank you. Was you. I made my I made savory tamales last December. It was my first time frying it, so it was fun to see. I am like, so happy to see you guys. Yeah. Like how cool. I know. Well, we always look for you when we go down to the bakery, but you know, usually it's I'm next door. Well, next door. We yeah. kind of like peek in. If we don't live. I yeah, know. I'm always next door, and people say that all the time. They're like, "You're never there," and I'm like, "Wait, no, I'm there. I'm always oh, there. Lord. You're just not yeah. in like, the front retail like, space." I'm usually like, so I work at home, from, like from six to about eight thirty. Then I hop in the shower over, and I go to work, oh and I get to work God. about nine thirty, and then I stay until six thirty. Yeah, <laughs> but I only stay until six thirty because she's got the air traffic controller, and like. When everybody leaves at four, so that's when I get my work done. Right. And I'm like trying to. I I started mm -hmm. this to try to break She's my like, habit, like just to right. yeah, like well, go home and do something like, I want to do, dot, dot, which I know is more cooking, but that's what I want to do. Like, like yeah. so. Nope, it's all good. Like, yeah, that's our vibe. It is fun. Well, it's, it's, it's always good to see you. Okay. Oh, I want to see her everywhere. Yeah, well, it's been can. fun. Like, it's uh, turned into a little bit more than, more more than you expected. For, that's okay. But that's okay. In good ways. In good ways, yeah. honestly, because one day I'll need some sort of exit plan, and I want to write a cookbook. So this is kind of like I feel like first steps for that. Yeah. Of like doing it. Yes. You know, but yeah. this is me just practicing out loud. So <laughs> I can see that. How are you? All right. Well, my
Bye, Tammy. Love you guys. We'll come see you. Okay, one more hug, though. Yeah, you're like, before you We will come see you. We do. I don't know. I And I literally do have, like, a chapter. I love, like, a bunch of people. It gets a little tight. But I remember I messaged you and I was like, yeah, it's a, it's like an age white balsamic that is peach and peach. And it's, it's so good. Since Dover all days. Oh, we're going to go, we're going to go again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. There actually was a guy that did do that. <laughs> and that's, can be associated with us because he's not really, you know, yeah. Yeah. There's a place well, out there. Yeah, there's pizza places. There's a donut. There's a donut. Isn't it guy? But I actually like I want to debate instead of being broken. Oh, absolutely. But I like to try to Yeah. Because people, the first time I said it out loud on TV, she was like, excuse me? I was like, I mean, industries. Like, <laughs> like, but, <laughs> so, so it's yours, you it's like, it's like, it's like, it's uh, okay, pretty much everything here except for the bun pans. Okay. So um, I'll throw those tamales in here. Great. And then you can have your, this is mine. Okay. I can prove it. Oh, Ruby Snap. <laughs> oh, I love Ruby Snap. Oh, I, I mean, I trust right you. Right here. Oh, very cool. Ruby Snap. Very cool. Burton, I ordered him through Burton. Mm -hmm. That's very so, good. So, these Ruby are Snap. Yeah. So, I got these in the pocket. I thought I'd wear them for the class. I put one on the other there. Oh, really? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, Okay, I'll move yeah. these into there. Yeah. All right, and I will see you at your next class. Okay, are you going to do the sides class? Yes. Sweet. Yes. So All right. Have to, yeah, that's good. <laughs> and this one got a little mushy. So. And you have a trash bag. I haven't been over there to see what looks like. Is this yours? Yes. And it's not yours? Yes. Can I put a cover on it for you? That'd be great. great. I would love it. Okay. I'm so. going to wash these off for you really quickly. Okay. Usually what I do is because my first class, like my, all my equipment got integrated. Not all of it, a few pieces. So I was just like, I'll just wash it at home. Yeah. I really don't mind. But if I do it, like stay on it from beginning to end. Okay, and then just like yeah. Or do you know what? 